We got Transformers Seed Shockwave. Yeah, this is his unofficial hovercraft mode, which is on the box, but not in the extractions. Weird, but yeah, no. And if you're wondering if his eyes painted, no, that, that's light piping. It's like stupid good. I'm not even under directly under my, uh, any light, and yeah. But yeah. Um, I guess we'd do a size comparison. Ah. Here he is, compared to Leader Class Ultra Magnus from Combiner Wars. Now you might be thinking, Shockwave's a Leader Class, why is he a midget? Well, he doesn't have his armor mode yet, so it's a little bit excusable for right now. Since he's not armored up. Here he is, next to Titan, not Titan, Power of the Primes. A power, god damn it, there's so many freaking lines, I'm getting them confused. Uh, <laughs> Siege Megatron. Everybody, Siege Megatron. So, yeah. I like this scale. It works. And last but not least, Cyber Battalion Shockwave, who we recently reviewed a while back. I like this color purple better, but that's not a bad purple. Just like that purple better. Also like that gray better because it's gray. It just looks kind of weird. Kind of wish they painted those legs silver. Like the feet would have looked a lot better. But oh well. He's a better figure overall than him though. And we'll actually get into that. So we'll move these two guys out of the way. Um, unlike the shockwave. You get an ankle pivot. Very slight but it's there. Nonetheless. Legs can go out that far. Cyber Battalions, I believe, could go that far as well. Um, Cyber Battalion has no knees. Um, but he has a swivel, which he does have a swivel there. But in addition, you got a knee! 90 degrees. Very nice. Very nice indeed. And all he has is just a swivel. Because again, can't bend the knee. He has no waist articulation due to his transformation. And you can you see. Yeah. No way getting a waist out of that. But he has a waist. What a shocker. I know, right? And yeah. So you got that. Uh, bicep swivel. Articulation at the uh wrist articulation there at the gun oh yeah this is an actual rubber hose so yeah it's gonna break me scared <laughs> you got this hinge joint here so if you want to you can do the salute um which is cool they can do that um you can this is this hinge here i believe is mainly just for transformation but it does give you some extra articulation with at least the gun arm or whatever and um yeah i get a tiny shockwave just so i can fit it in here to recreate that one scene <laughs> where he's holding himself that'd be freaking hilarious overall i like the head sculpt we're actually zoom in on that it's mainly because there's a lot of detail in here. And I forgot to actually go over the head sculpts of some of the Siege figures. I guess we'll do that when I go in the overall Wave 1 impressions video. And what I expect from Wave 2. Because we still gotta view the Micro Masters and the Battle Masters that I have. I have all the Micro Masters, I'm just missing the Lion Battle Master. That's mostly because I don't really want him, but I'll have, get him eventually. Um, but yeah, um, let's just transform these guys. Or untab these, I mean. You don't really transform them. We're gonna get him into Super Shockwave. The best mode ever. Not really. So, you got these tabs at his feet. You tap it in. And you tap it in. Because there's a tab, and then there's also that. That just kind of goes on the back of the foot. Alright. Now, there's a hole right there. Hold on. Yeah, there's a hole right there. So, that has to match.
catch up with that hole right there. And this also kind of notches in, I believe, on, on the inside somewhere. There we go. All right. So once you got that in, you get the other side, and my arms are hurting. Oof. Okay. There we go. Man, I can feel my back. Damn. Oof. And then last but not least, we get this on here on the back. There's just two holes, like, on the side of this gun. Kind of, ooh, okay, hold on. You gotta move the hose so you can actually tap it in properly. Dang it. There we go. There we go. You get Siege Shockwave in his super mode. Now let's compare Siege Shockwave to Leader Class Ultra Magnus. And here we got Seed Shockwave compared to Titan Return of Blitzwing. Here we got Siege Magnus, Siege Soundwave, Shockwave next to Siege Megatron. And now, before you're like, oh, that's power force perspective, he's probably shorter. Or not shorter, but taller. Hold on, let me move his arm. There you go, he's like right freaking next to him. Now, as you think, is Megatron short and he's just tall? Well, Blitzwing was made at a different era, and also was originally Megatron here. So, if you want to tell the Megatron, just get used to Titan Return to Megatron. Or the Classics one. But, I mean, I don't care that Blitzwing's taller than Megatron, really. I mean, uh, he's fucking stupid. He's smart. Stupid. Smart. Stupid. Smart. Also powerful. He's powerful, too, but, I mean, no one is Megatron, so it's, I, I really don't care. And also, I kind of see the triple changes as being a little bit bigger than Megatron anyways. But, yeah. Saying, though, that he is smaller than him in combined mode and smaller than him is freaking crazy. Like, hold on. Let's get a more recent, more recent leader class figure. One I have actually out nearby. This is from the previous line. You heard nothing. <laughs> Power of the Primes, Rodimus Prime. And, oof. That, he is, oh, so much huger. And he's one of the bigger leader classes in the line. Him and Optimus are actually kind of tall. Um, Primal is much smaller, but... Yeah, that's just how that is. <sighs> now we're going to rant mode. No, just kidding, we're not going to get into that yet. We're going to go into vehicle mode. Okay, so you just remove all this extra crap that was on. And now we'll get into vehicle mode. We're going to start with just the back. So you want to open this, lift this up. What you want to do is open this chest cavity, fold his head in, kaboom. Now what you want to do is open that up, boom, there we go. Unpeg that, just boom, just boom. You can turn it if you want, which I would recommend just so you don't have any of the other crap sticking out. Very nice, very nice. And then now what you want to do is simply now focus on the legs. You want to flip them around. I just recommend doing the splits for the moment. You see that? You want to undo that. Fold in the leg like so. And do the same on the other side. So, yeah. Do the same on the other side. Alright. So, you combine that in. That 
tabs in, man. His legs should tab in together. Alright, and then you bring that out, and you can plug that in here, and you got the ship mode. Which, if you just fold this down, it is totally his gun mode. Congratulations, Hasbro, on doing that again. Good job. Good job. So, yeah. If you're wondering, that's, that's white out. Yeah, I got that accidentally in my thumb. Won't come off. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. So, you got him in gun mode. Pretty noise, pretty noise, pretty noise. I just got it. I didn't realize I had something knocked over. If you can recognize that fee, that was, yeah. Anyways, yeah, no, it, it looks nice. I mean, even it's ship mode, which is light pipes as well, because if we go that, light piping on that is very good. Um, yeah, I got nothing to really complain about. Now we're going to get this into vehicle mode. So what we're going to have to do is fit these like that. It'll, it'll kind of just clip in. You just hear like a little... There's a tab here, kind of tabs underneath there. That tabs just do that on the same side. I think you plug these into the back, if I'm not mistaken. Keyword is if I'm not, because I think these tab in just there. go and we got the last piece now so there we go hold on there we go so you want to open this do that and just have everything kind of tab in put those holes like we did in the other modes come around Boom, there we go. I have no idea why the gun... Oh no, I have it the other... <laughs> we did it the wrong way. Oof. Oof. Okay, so it's supposed to go like this. Now tab everything in. Okay, hold on. Now tab everything in. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Okay, then there's a tab right here. It's supposed to tab into the side there and here is armpit. Ah, it won't freaking tab in. There we go. It's Damn. Okay, that's interesting. It's like too high, but too low at the same time. Damn. Okay, I think I got it. Okay, well, anyways, that's supposed to tab together. And, uh, I'm just having difficulties. I probably just pushed in something wrong, but, I mean, you get it. There we go. We got the shit mode, which actually looks really cool. Kind of reminds me of the Nemesis a bit. Um, from G1. It looks pretty dope. Um, I have no complaints. It looks pretty cool. Um, and then again. Gun mode. Gun mode. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. No. Um, do I think sh Shockwave should have came with this extra crap? No. Do I think Shockwave should have been in leader class? No. Do I think Shockwave should have been a Voyager class? Yes! <laughs> yeah, no, they should have just not. Just, just, just no. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. I would recommend picking it up for cheaper, unless you really, really want a good Shockwave figure. Like, that person is dying for a good Shockwave, then you get him. Otherwise, yeah, just wait until clearance. Or if you're a huge Shockwave fan. That's another reason. But, yeah. In the next review, we'll be going over bum, 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 Ultra Magnus. And oh my god, is this figure amazing? He's worth the fifty dollars. We'll talk about that later. So yeah.
So till next time. Peace out.